Good day, good day, my fellow fans. Today's news. Meghan Markle won the lottery when she married Prince Harry and is using her new podcast to settle scores, a royal commentator claimed. Meghan finally released her first Archetypes podcast. Nearly two years after signing the lucrative contract with streaming service Spotify. During the episode, the former royal spoke to tennis star Serena Williams about her upcoming retirement from tennis as well as sharing some stories about her life as a royal, including a brief appearance for Prince Harry. Reacting to the release, royal commentator Kingsley Schofield has criticised the former suit star, arguing that she had been lucky to marry into the royal family in the first place. The idea of her being criticised for being ambitious. You are not ambitious when you marry a prince. That's called hitting the jackpot. You've won the lottery when you've married a prince, she said. I really think outside looking in, just content-wise, and there's an ulterior motive here with this podcast and that settling scores. Megan has recently come under criticism from author Tom Bauer, whose book made a number of allegations against the Sussexes, including challenging the truth of Megan's story that she once wrote a letter to Procter & Gamble protesting the use of the word woman. Kingsley suggested the Duchess of Sussex had taken the opportunity to address this criticism. Specifically with this episode, you kind of see her go after Tom Bauer, responding to his claim that she's ambitious and scheming, she continued. The book also says that Serena Williams told a media contract that they weren't necessarily good friends, and he also questioned her Procter & Gamble story. She goes into all of these things in the very first episode of her podcast. During the podcast episode, Megan claimed that her son Archie had a narrow escape when the couple's residence caught on fire during one of their engagements. Megan suggested that she had struggled with the idea that she then needed to leave the four-year-old to go to another engagement, but Kingsley argued that she need not have been the case. She said, we know that Diana was defiant and when she didn't want to do engagements, she told Prince Charles no. Meghan could have told them no. She was refusing to go because there are examples of royals before her that did the exact same thing. I don't know who she's trying to attract with it, but I think anybody that's on the fence about her is not going to be impressed with two millionaires sitting on their microphones complaining about their difficult lives. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more and goodbye for now.